James the Lesser, we don't know how to do any pulls with anything yet. Like, I'm looking to do pulls with Nightbot and stuff, and I think it would still work here on YouTube like we were trying to get it to work on Twitch. Here we go. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser's Express Lane, where we get you now as fast as possible. We all knew the new Nintendo Switch Pro is coming. It's going to have 4K and the video graphics power and do all these amazing things. Yay! Except it's an OLED screen, 0.8 inches bigger, a better kickstand, and more memory. Which, okay, great. Nintendo never said anything about 4K and all this other stuff that was being brought up by Reset Era and Game Facts and all these other people. Speaking of Reset Era. <laughs> we were 100% wrong about everything. All of our so-called insider sources were nothing but lies and bullshit. But don't attack us for that. Stop being disappointed and upset with some of these leaks and insider sources in general. Guys, it, 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 the hostility towards us is wrong. Yeah, no it's not. You claimed all these insider sources. You claimed all these leaks. You claimed all these things to get people to click on your articles and all that. And you were wrong about everything. Of course, they don't even have the worst take. Who does? You know it. DSP. Of course, he has the absolute worst takes. These all come from Josh Poem. Nintendo shows it's not too late to be completely out of touch with its customer's base by releasing the Switch OLED, where the only improvements are the screen, speakers, kickstand, built-in LAN port, which should have been there to begin with, which I kind of agree with it should have. No hardware upgrades. Um, DSP? OLED screen that's point inches bigger is a hardware upgrade. Kickstand, speakers, built-in LAN port, those are all hardware. They're not graphic upgrades, but they're all hardware. No joke, this jackass said, he drinks his coffee black with creamer and milk. Wait, 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 wait. If it has creamer and milk in it, then it's not black coffee. It's it's just not. This is just next level trolling after a year of fan speculation that he switched pro. Yeah, fan speculation. Not Nintendo. Nintendo said nothing about a Switch Pro was coming, which would upgrade the base hardware. Nintendo was like, nope. We know how dumb our fans are and they'll spend money for tweaks instead of real improvements. Oh, you mean like tweaks of, say, wearing a hat, you pay 150 bucks, But no green screen? Tweaks like uh, getting a chair that you already owned. Huh. Instead of, oh, I don't know, a better camera. Just saying. And don't worry, Nintendo fanboys will buy the Switch OLED regardless of the slap to the face. They've been conditioned to Stockholm Syndrome so badly that they'll gladly waste their money again to keep this company going despite being completely ignored again. Pot. Meat. Kettle. Way to talk about your fans there, DSP. Just saying. To be fair, if you're one of the ten people who still don't own a Switch, there's a lot of people out there who don't. A, they were hard to come by for a while. I struggled to find one. The improvements with the OLED model, which should have been part of the base unit at launch, are nice to have. But if a single person already owns a Switch buys it, you've been duped. Gee, if you've already given DSP $5,000 and you give them any more, guess what? You've already been duped. And you're still being duped by a scammer. Amazing how he talks about himself like that, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, so far from what we're seeing, okay, it's an OLED screen that's a little bigger. The kickstand, which I've never used. Improved speakers, which are right, great when you're on the travel, when you're on the go. But the LAN port, A, that should have been part of the thing from the very get-go. But B, that's great. You don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. Let's say, oh, hey, the Wi-Fi is weak, but if I plug it in to the internet cable, I get much better and faster speeds. People are going to love that. Whether they stream or not. Can you imagine you're playing Tetris 99 and you lag because the Wi-Fi is unreliable? Or hey, the Wi-Fi router's in the living room and you're upstairs in the bedroom. Guess what? I'm sure people are going to appreciate having that LAN cable. 
Me, I'm not going to get it. I already want a Switch. I don't need these improvements. Even if they came out with a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro and had a lot of improvements, I probably still want to get one. I very rarely play it. Yes, I'll, like I was playing a ton of Mario 99 when that was out. Tetris 99 I still play. Uh, there's a Brick Breaker game that I still play every now and then. That's about the only game I play handheld. Try playing with a controller on the TV and like the paddle doesn't move fast enough. But if you use the handheld version of the Switch, it moves fast enough to bounce the ball around to break bricks. But yeah, until they come out with a game that I need to have and need to play, it's just mostly been Tetris 99 lately. A lot of it, but still, Tetris 99. Love it. Great game. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. What do you think? Is this just a really bad take by someone who hates Nintendo? Yes. Yes, it is. If you don't already own a Switch, would this be what pushes you to get one if you weren't actually looking at one? Or if you were looking at one, this is one of the upgrades and all that. They're going to be like, you know what? I've been holding it off too long. I need to get this. Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.